Morning, everyone. I want to give you an update on the rabbit hutch. The rabbits have been moved into their summer home, um, and this is new for us. This is called, um, this is a paw hut, hutch. Um, it was sold through Amazon, and I know you can find it online, but when you do that, um, notice that the Amazon price is cheaper. So what we've got here is a two-story hutch. Um, the length of it is 91 inches, the depth is 27 inches, the height overall I believe is about 40 inches. Uh, we have made some upgrades and that's what I want to talk to you about today. So some of the first upgrades we made were the latches on the doors. Um, normally it just came with this little churn latch which is fine until it gets loose or maybe a predator tries to get in there. Um, we don't really have too much to worry about around here, but I also wanted to make sure it was secure, so we just added over these slide latches. So they lock in place and they slide over. Of course, you have to have this, this one turned up, um, and then you can just open up that living area. So there's our little Becky rabbit. Um, now another upgrade that we made is that we put a divider in. So this does not come um, in the original setup, but we made a divider wall. That way, if we wanted to, we could separate them out. So at the time, we've got them separated. So I'm gonna show you how that works in a second. All right, you can see here on the other side, okay, it's a separate living quarter. Um, but to show you how it separates, we have a little slide door that my husband built and that whole piece comes out of there. So you would literally just lift and then you can see Becky and then it slides back in. So anytime you want to give them free reign of the hutch, you can just take those out. So that was a very nice feature um, but just to get you in here. Uh, that is the opening where they go down their little ramp at. We did also attach water bowls. These are really nice water bowls that you can find um, pretty much at any place that sells pet supplies. Um, it is a permanent fixture now, but at the same time, you can come in here. It is a twist and lift and remove situation. And this one is Sawyer. All right, come on out of there and just turn that over. So something else that we did in order to make it easier to clean is we hinged the side roof um, on both sides and then down below we've got um, hooks in order to keep them down so that the rabbit cannot push up on the roof um, probably too heavy for him to do so but again a predator would not be able to get in there either so this now lifts and you can see down in there um, this will make it easier to clean and perhaps even easier to get the rabbit. Anytime you do some reading about rabbits, it's going to tell you that you should always, always be able to reach in and get your rabbit at any time. So this gives us another entry point um, for getting them out of there um, when we need to. And of course, then we can clean as we need to as well. So and there's his little ramp to come down. That is standard with the kit. So this hutch does come as a kit. You do have to put it together. Um, I'll be honest, that was my husband's department. He did put it all together um, and painted it and such. So moving on down to the bottom, we completed the divider in the same way as the top. So we'll get this open and show you. So this divider wall um, there is a small piece and then two smaller pieces attached to that in order to make a slot for the divider wall to put down into. And we've just got a basic screw in order to lift it up. And there you can see Becky again. So not ready to divide them or put them together just yet. So I'm going to leave it in there for now. So those are some of the upgrades we made. Um, we chose to do this because we've got a male and female rabbit, and there will be times when we want to separate them. So we are planning to breed, and when we do, I might find the need to separate them afterwards. And even after the babies are born, 
then they could be separated by male and female um, when they're ready to reach their grow out stage. So that was our main reason for wanting to separate. And you can see they still have plenty of room. They have more room than they had in their original cages. We did the same thing over here as far as with the hinges. Um, and we also put the little hook there. So this side also lifts up. And Becky likes to jump, so she I put her little box in there, which is just a cat litter box. Um, she likes to hide in there, and she likes to jump around and climb on things. So that gives her a little something to do. All right, we'll just set that back down. Now, the kit itself did not come with um, a base. And it also did not come with any type of flooring. So we made it out to a tractor supply, and we were able to pick up the one and a half by one inch um, 16 gauge wire, I believe it is. And that is what they say is easiest on the rabbit's foot. And so far, there's been no problems. They've been in here a few days. They seem to be doing really well. Now, instead of attaching it to the actual hutch, we decided to put Put it on a frame um, and now the hutch is removable from the frame so my husband built this um, tabletop frame for the hutch to sit on with just basic two by fours i think we're in for about um, four two by fours total and this hutch can now be taken off completely so if we ever want to move it um, to another location. It can be done so easily or if we even just want to set it out in the grass and then they have more movement, um, more ability to eat at the grass and such. Now in order to keep the hutch from sliding around on the frame, he did put in some um, added pieces of wood here or trim. That way it will hold it in place so you can see that at all of the corners. And then there are some along the front that way the hutch itself is not going to slide off with any type of movement from the rabbits. Um, it also is nice to have it up high so that the rabbits are away from their own droppings. So we've got a, about a foot and a half to two feet down there um, that those droppings can fall into. And I've got some straw down there to keep the scent down. And I've also planted in some lemon balm. And I did this last year and the lemon balm really took off and did well. It's um, dual purpose. It helps with that scent because it has a very nice lemon scent to it and it also helps keep bugs away. So bugs don't like it. Mosquitoes, gnats, they don't like it. They tend to stay away from it. So we've got some lemon balm going down there for that reason. Um, something standard with this paw hut hutch is the tray. Um, and this tray seems to be stuck at the moment. I don't have to work at that. Um, but the tray is um, to come out for easy cleaning. Um, so far, I've just been coming in here with a little bitty um, broom and dustpan and cleaning them out that way. So they haven't quite figured it out that they should be using or expelling their waste down below. So both of them are currently going and expelling their waste up here. So I've had to clean it out a couple of times. So hoping they figure out to do better. So I think that's it as far as upgrades and the overall um, description of the hutch. If you have any questions about this one or any questions about what we did, just put them in comments below and I'll be watching for those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link the hut hutch down below in my comments. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can. Um, so far, it's been a great hutch. One other thing that we did do to it, you can see this is the original wood, wood color. On the inside, we did do a water sealer, but on the outside, we went ahead and painted it with just some random mixed up paint that we had here at the house. So that's just to give it some extra protection from the weather um, to help it last longer. So again, if you like the video, hit that like button if you want to see more. Go ahead and subscribe um, and leave some comments down below. All right, guys, have a great day. See you next time.